The fortress of basketball known as the at and What it is, everybody, it's your boy, Shaw Dog, 240, coming at you with another 2K vid. And on this one, you can see it's the Lakers versus the Spurs. And it's like a rematch of last night's game. And actually, I was there to attend last night's game. And man, it was so intense, man. It was so epic for me because we've been waiting for the Lakers to come to San Antonio all season. And it seemed like... It took forever, and they finally came yesterday, and this is the first time I ever get to see the Lakers since I've been living down here, because I've only been down here for like, what, a year and a half, so I wasn't able to attend any games last year, but I was able to attend the one from last night, and you know how it was, man, I loved to be there, but the only thing was, is Kobe, he didn't play that game, but it was all good, because just seeing him on the bench, and seeing Kobe in person was good enough for me, so I was happy either way. And last night, it was just a real good game, man. The Lakers played their best game of the year last night. And I just felt good that I was there to witness, you know, Ron Artest knocking down them crazy shots. He went like 10 to 15. Andrew Bynum coming down with 30 rebounds, a career high from him. And I was just there to see all of it. It just felt good, man. And I said they haven't ran that type of basketball and haven't played Laker basketball since like the Phil Jackson days. Cause I haven't seen them just play just real flawless. They played a flawless three and a half quarters. Just when it got to the fourth quarter, they was due for it. They went through a little drought where it seemed like they couldn't knock down nothing. But we had like a, a 19 point lead and they ended up cutting it down to I think 11. But uh, we came back, we got everything straight. You know what I'm saying? We got we got back on point and we was going from we was going from there. But man, they played like a perfect game last night and it, would, it just felt good to be there. You know, it was the most important thing. Everybody was talking noise, but you do you did it in a respectful way. You respect the other team, you respect the other team fans because you are in their house. You know, you don't want to go too crazy and get too crazy with your chance or anything like that. But everybody there was respectful. You know, you can't do nothing but respect the Spurs organization because they always been a world-class type of organization. They might not give you the most high-fly plays and all the highlights that you see on ESPN or whatever, but they know how to play the game of basketball. And they've been playing like that since they've been under Greg Popovich. So, I mean, they know the game of basketball and they just a, a real humble team. And the fans down here are pretty much the same way. I haven't been down here too long, but you can tell that the fans are so I don't go too crazy now if that was like a Miami game or something like that I wouldn't give two shits you know what I'm saying we probably would have been riding up there you know three Laker fans with me and my two brothers against like a whole section of Miami Heat fans you know what I'm saying I consider them bandwagoners you know what I'm saying but the Spurs you know the Spurs fans everybody was respectful but uh yeah man it just felt good to be there last night you know they come back down here on the 20th and we trying to go and get the tickets for that game because we play them three more times I mean two more times one down two to go and they have uh, one more game down here, so we're trying to make it to that one, too. But enough for that one, man. This game right here was a, a quick rank match. Uh, I played this game this morning. You know, I, for, some, for some reason, I don't know why every time I pick the Lakers, whoever the Lakers played the night before or right after they finished playing, they picked the team that we either beat or they either beat us. So, and, and it must have been a coincidence because this guy, he picked the Spurs, but you could tell he was like a real Spurs fan because he played with this team. I could tell. And it was just a real game of basketball, and I never really experienced that playing these online rate matches. You go through a lot of players that like to use gimmicks. They like to use every type of, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever type of little glitch to try to score the two points. But this guy, it looked like he used the playbook. He got most of his points from the paint. But to me, it's all in the way of how you get your points in the paint. This guy, he didn't really do it in a cheesy way. He did it in a way like he set the plays or set his players up to get those good spots in the paint to get those shots. So the whole time, I wasn't really mad at him. But uh, this game right here was hard for me, man. I mean, I didn't pull away at all. He didn't pull away. We were just going back and forth. And I just couldn't, I really couldn't just get a hold of this game for some reason. This guy, he was just good. So we coming at the end of the first quarter, and uh, we played a real good first quarter, I feel, you know, from, from how, because we could have been down by probably 11 the way that we started off, but we down by three, I'm bringing my bench in, you already know, they coming in, I need them to give me a strong three minutes, and you see Gallant, he start off this, um, first, the second quarter, 
with a steal and a layup. So I said, okay, we're only down by one. Let's just take it from here. So when you see I go in the zone, because he was getting most of his points from the paint. But as you can see right here, he wasn't scared to take that mid-range shot. So if he was open, he was knocking down that shot. So this guy, he was like a dangerous player. You know, and these are the games I like to play. And when I do get in these games, I appreciate it. You, it don't matter if I win. I, I want to win, of course, because I hate to lose. But if you lose a game like this, what, God just played real basketball. You see Troy Murphy going to the rack real strong. I like him going to the rack and I end up getting a foul. But if you play a, a person like this that know the game of basketball and you can tell that he plays with his team and he uses substitutions and he brings players in, he's not spamming one player trying to use Tony Parker to get to the paint. It's like, okay, if I end up losing this game, I can't be pissed. And that's the whole, that's what I was saying the whole time, but I did want to win because, I mean, we beat him last night. I didn't want to lose this game, but this guy was just, he was good, man. It was like, I, it's out of my hands. It's just going to have to come down to, you know, may the best man win and uh, see who make the plays at the end of the quarter, at the end of the fourth and see who comes through. And as you can see, you know, he's uh he's going strong in the paint. And the first one he gets that rebound. I don't know if it's rebound, but he ended up getting a foul. No. My bench, man, they they playing good for me right now. I really can't even see the score. But uh, I'm just saying, man, we just need to play a real we have to play almost perfect this game. Because this guy was he was real good, man. I had to give it to him. You see, that was just a perfect. If you can run that back, just run that play back because we ran that play so perfect. And Ayanga, he's a beast on this game. He's a beast for the Lakers on his 2K. He, he don't get playing time in real life, but on this game and in these rain matches, I mean, if you can, I mean, use him because this guy, he's a beast. And you see Tony Parker, I try to stay in front of him, and I'm playing a zone. But, you know, Tony Parker, he's a human fast break, so... He get that wide open layup just for a split second to get free and go right past all my people. You see, we playing the pass the lanes, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's not scared to take that mid-range shot with any one of his players. And he was knocking it down, so I said, that's why I'm like, man, this guy, he is dangerous, man. I just want to... I want to play a you know a real clean game. You leave me some space, and you leave Josh Robbins that much space. I'm gonna just pull it. You know, so we uh we down by three right now. If I can see if that's the right score, you see that Barnes go in for the sexy layup. We only down by one now, and now uh, we coming down to the end of the first half. And I'm saying, okay, man, uh, this guy he's playing a real good game. Uh, we go in, we down by one. Let's try to do something in the uh, second half. Let's start it off strong. You see Tim Duggan, he's a hot man for the half. So now that I'm bringing my starters in, I'm like, okay, let's just uh, let's start this half off right, man. Let's try to get a little momentum going. So here's Kobe. We get the ball in. Kobe bringing it up the court. Second half underway, and here's and right now, I don't even think I'm even, I'm, I'm even running the play right now. I just want to get something shots. probably Sessions real quick. With Kobe. And, it's Bynum. and uh, I get Bynum in the post. And he ended up losing the ball for a split second. Uh, Ramon Session ended up getting the ball back. And he left Pau Gasol open for a, a quick minute in the corner. And I'm not going to pass that shot up. I'm going to take that shot every time. So, I mean, if you're going to leave me open, I'm going to go ahead and take it. You can't overstate it. I mean, it's really huge, Kevin. Keeping your composure, staying focused, understanding. So you see, we just, I'm not even running plays right now. I'm getting power in the post. On the road, Starting off good, that sexy up and under layup. Um, and those are the you know how I feel when I'm in the post of power. I feel like I can't be held down. I don't feel like you can hold me. So we go up by three. So we starting off good. We held our first two shots. You see, I'm just trying to stay in front of Tony Parker. This is real good defense. So real good defense. We playing the passing lanes. Play it again. The computer got that steal for me with really Bonham. Like and I leak out with um, Session. I don't know why the computer do that. A uh, 2K just allow you to... I mean, you have a wide open layup and they just send you to the three-point line. But I try to get a better shot with Kobe at the elbow jumper of the free throw line. And, you know, it was a good shot. When Ramon Session was open in the corner for a split second. But I'd rather just bring it back and just get a better shot. And that's what I did with Kobe. And he knocked down that, old, that elbow jumper. So we knocked down our first three shots. And Tony Parker just doing what he do. Going to the rack strong. You can't be mad at that. 
Sessions missed that free throw jumper. They go down. Tim Duncan, he's going for the wide open dunk. And I feel like that was a good foul. I said, man, I, I have Ron Artest. If I, I know I can catch him. Tim Duncan, Ron Artest. I said, if I can just get the foul, I'd be happy. I'd rather have a steal, but he and the foul number turned out to be a good foul because he went one or two from the free throw line. So we start off good. Play with fire and get away Everything with looks it. good right now, so just, just trying to call them. one of my plays. The, the zipper, that's a real good play. It's really intended for power, but I normally use that as a as a and pick and pop the for the next player. You see, he just leave power and open for a that's quick second, and I get that elbow jumper, which is, you know. So you can use that play for anybody. I mean, just because a play is designed for a certain person, most of the time in the middle of that play, if you break, you get a wide open shot. So I pretty much use that play for, you know, a, a pick and pop play. So see the time clock going down, shot clock, whatever. You get the rebound back. So I end up getting a, a switch, a mismatch. Tim Duggan over my session. So I'm like, all right, cool. So shit, I know I'm going to get past him. So I try to do a little crossover, get open, and he just stay. I'm like, come on, man. Tim Duggan ain't that damn fast. And I get open for a split second. And I end up knocking down that jumper. Do, unfortunately, you know, but you know, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather for that play to look a whole lot sexier than it did because I know a lot of players they know how to do those uh those ISO crossover moves, but I don't even know how to do all that. I'm gonna be real, you know, and make that that play look sexy, but I, I don't know how to do all that. I just know how to get my players open. So it wasn't too pretty, but we got the two points at all that matter. You see, we not playing. Any type of organized ball right now. We just run it down the court. I should have shot that. You see, he playing good D. I passed it off the bottom. You already know who bails me out. So you're going to be Pau Gasol or Kobe. And that time it was Pau Gasol. Gasol's got eight points in the quarter. You can't fault what he's been doing out there. Some really impressive shooting. So I'm just trying to stay in front of Tony Parker. Because this guy is quick, man. You see, we play a real good D. And this is what I mean by he's getting all of the plays that he can in the paint. But he's doing it in a good way. He's getting everybody open. The way they're supposed to be open. He's not cheesing his way into the paint. He just passing it off to the man, the big man. And he ended up getting me in the air with a quick pump fake. So you can't be mad at that, man. So... I know I just need to tighten up my defense. And before I started this game, since he picked the Spurs, I wanted to play this game without Kobe. I wanted just to sit Kobe down and see what I can do. But I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't finna do all that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be too damn real. It's enough that I play sim ball in these rank matches. And that's the player I'm talking about that you get Kobe wide open. That player is intended for power to roll to the basket. But I mean, why would you even try to force that, that pass into the paint when Kobe's wide open, not the power set that pick at the elbow? So, I mean, y'all can look at these plays, man. Y'all can try them out. Duncan's got 13. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 yeah, straight man. points, guys. This guy, he, he know how to play the game in basketball, as you see. And right now, at this time, I know we finna go into the half. Take everything you can get in there. Well, into the fourth quarter. We finna go into the fourth quarter. I really wanted to get my bench out there and have them with a little quick lead, you know. If I could send them into the to the fourth quarter with a little lead, which is gonna be two right now, I said that's a whole lot better. I don't like to send them in the game being down or tied up. If we have like a little bit of cushion, you know, because sometimes they don't come out and hit shots right away. So I wanted to send them into the to the fourth quarter with a, a real good, you know, what I'm saying, start them off good. So we go into the fourth quarter and we're up by two. And so I'm just telling my bitch, okay, I know I'm playing against somebody that really know the game of basketball. He know what he's doing. So I'm sitting on my bench in knowing that, okay, I'm not. I wasn't really expecting for them to play the whole fourth. I was just telling him to give me two minutes. If you just give me two minutes, you know what I'm saying, I'll be happy with that. Because, you know, I know that this guy, he really know what he's doing. And sometimes my bitch don't come out and play the way I want him to. But I said I'm going to have faith in y'all anyway. A lot of people in this, you see that's uh, Troy Murphy going to the rack for an easy basket. And we start off good and we go up by four. A lot of people wouldn't even start their bet, you know, going into the fourth quarter on a, a hard, tough game like this one. They're not finna chance that. They're going to have Kobe or Powell out there or both of them. 
Duncan, we'll start out with all my five uh, bench players. I'm seeing what they're going to give me. I'm going to give them a chance. I'm not just going to, you know. So, you see, we're playing the perfect D. I'm like, man, he can't get a shot out of this. And Tim Duncan ended up pulling up for the shot. So, I'm like, shit. It's all good. Let's just go back down there. Let's get another four-point four lead. That's all I'm saying. So, we're not running any plays. I just want to call a quick pick. He goes under the pick. You see right now, there's nothing going on. But he just leave Troy Murphy open for a split second. If you want to rewind that, his man cheated off of Troy Murphy. I don't know if he thought I was just going to run to the to the uh, basket and try to get a wide open, you know, try to get a, a layup. But he cheated off of Troy Murphy for a quick second. You see, he just go to the basket. That's bad defense by me. And yeah, Troy Murphy just hit that wide over shot, but yeah. And Tony Parker is subbed in for Gary Neal. The feed now to so now we only have about two. We're trying to make something happen. The ball, Diaw on him. He gets, he missed that uh, elbow, but like I say, man, Troy Murphy is a hustle on this game. He goes back up. And right now, I said, okay, we up by four. I'd rather bring my starters in so we can just end it off real strong. And I'm bringing my starters in, and they waiting to come in, but my bench is still out there. But I'm not going to call a timeout. I'm going to still see what my bench could give me. And then they, we okay. We only up by two. I could have called a timeout right here to bring my starters in. But I'm still trying to see what my bench can do for me. And you see, that's Matt Bonner. He stripped my point guard. I'm like, come on now. Matt Bonner ain't finna strip my point guard for real. But he ended up pulling up that bad three. And we get the ball back. You see my starters, they just ready to come in. And I'm still trying to see what my bitch give me before they come out. And Ayanga pulls up at the free throw line and knocks down a big shot for me. So now I'm just trying to get a stop. I just want to get a stop. I said there's no way that we can. Look at that. That's perfect D right there on, on Tony Parker. So we get it out to Matt Bond. I'm like, yeah. So I know we ain't finna get a shot with this. I ain't even finna really worry about him. You see, my, I went to the rack. But Matt Bonner, Matt Bonner pulls up for a Kareem Abdul Jabbar hook shot. I'm like, come on now. Matt Bonner is not pulling those damn hook shots up in a clutch situation like this. You see, he almost gets the steal. And I'm just passing these bad passes right in front of players. I think I'm still shocked over that bullshit ass shot that Matt Bonner just hit. So I'm like, okay, I'm just slow down for a minute. And I get Josh McRoberts right in this perfect spot to knock down that corner jumper. He knocks that down every time. And that was a big shot by uh, Josh McRoberts. You see, he just goes up for the layup. And we playing real good D. And you see, I bring my menu back up, and I'm just telling my starter, y'all go ahead and sit back down, man. I'm going to let my, my bench finish this one off. So I sit my starters back down. Right after that, we end up turning it over. But I still have, and you see, that's Josh McRoberts making a defensive play. I have faith in my bench, man, and I reward them. I feel like if my bench gonna come out and they play that way, and they give me the lead and they keep the lead for me, and we extend it a little, it's no use in me, you know what I'm saying, bringing my starters in to break up that team chemistry or whatever we have going on. You know, if they, they play right for me, I'm gonna keep them out there. You see, he double teaming me right now, but that's not the right thing to do because, I mean, if you double team, that means somebody's open. And that right there, that messed him up. Just that double team with Tony Parker. He couldn't recover quick enough on guy lock. He get that, that quick little separation from him and not, you know, knock down a little corner shot. So he fouls me. And yeah, that's what he do. He quits the game. I'm like, come on, man. Why you had to quit? You know, this guy, he played a real good game, man. I even sent him a message after. I'm like, man, you played me straight up. I played you straight up. You know, everything was good. I just hated that you had to quit. But he was like, you know what I'm saying, you had the game or whatever. So I wasn't finna, you know, just keep fouling you to try to come up. So, you know, you can't do nothing but respect it. But it's all good. I have nothing bad to say about this guy. He played a straight-up game. I can't really complain too much. You know, I got the win. So ain't no use to bitching and complaining about something that you don't got the win over. It's, it'd be a different story if I would have lost. But... You know, and uh, I'm going to be bringing y'all something different, man. I, I'm starting in an, another league, uh, NSBD. I don't know what the name of the league is, but it's a a, a, a well-known league around the 2K community. And it's a couple guys with YouTube channels. They play in this league, and it's all symbol. And I have, you know, they gave me an invite to play in that league. So I'm going to be bringing y'all somebody different other than the Lakers. I'm going to be playing with the Knicks. 
it's all regular rosters so I'm starting with the Knicks. I'm going to see what I can do with them. They have a losing record right now. I think they 15 and 21. It's a 58 uh, game season. So I'm going to see what I can do with them. I'm going to go in and practice and I'm going to run their plays and I'm going to see what I can do. But my first game, I'll probably get skunked by 30. But I'm going to put it up either way it go, win or lose. I'm going to put it up for y'all. But uh, this shout out 240, man. I'm signing off. Y'all have a good one.